Hello everybody, this is Gary. Today is March um, 18th, 2020. It is 6.25 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in the United States in Rochester, New York. Um, today I wanted to visit a topic that I've talked about before. Um, I couldn't think of any other subject to make a video about today, so I wanted to just touch on a topic that I've talked about before, and that's gang stalking and mental illness. I don't want to say that people are never stalked. People are stalked for a lot of reasons. If you have an ex-lover that's jealous, maybe they're stalking you, harassing you, following you. Um, if you were an informant for the police and a drug gang was following you, I think that's entirely possible. Um, maybe you're being stalked as a celebrity by a crazed fan. That obviously can happen as well. I don't want to discount when people are really getting stopped by somebody. Um, if you're going through a divorce, maybe your ex has uh, hired a private detective to follow you. That's entirely possible. I don't doubt that at all. I don't want to discount when people might be getting stopped. I remember when I was 19 or so, 20 years old maybe, and I was walking through a predominantly black neighborhood, and that is important to say that it was a black neighborhood. And I was walking with a boombox blaring out heavy metal music. Um, four black teenagers started following me from behind. And then they surrounded me, putting a, like a square sheet perimeter around me, two in front of me, two in back of me. And they attacked me. And um, I did fight back. But that once I stopped fighting back, it seems that they only wanted the radio. They weren't there to stab me or kill me. They just wanted the fucking radio. So I was getting stopped for a few minutes. And before I realized what was happening, I was being attacked for my radio. Eventually, I just gave up the radio and they left. So stalking happens, obviously. Um, but uh, that's not what I'm talking about. Gang stalking is supposedly when the government, the FBI, the CIA, the post office, your psychiatrist, they're all in on a conspiracy against you, especially with government help. And it's um, the government is surveilling you for some reason. You're using uh, private citizens. You're using public government agencies to follow you with no particular reason given other than just harassment and trying to drive you crazy year after year. That kind of stalking, I don't believe in. I think in most cases, it's fantasy. And people who are mentally ill are coming up with these psychotic fantasies that they're part of what's called gang stalking and they're what they call themselves as a targeted individual or a TI. And the people doing the stalking are called perps. Um, and just for doing this video, I'm going to be accused of being a perp, that I'm being paid by somebody to make this video to make gang stalking seem like it's mental illness. No one's paying me to do this video. Um, people who are mentally ill conveniently say part of the gang stalking is being done by psychiatrists. It's a very convenient excuse not to see a psychiatrist um, or a psychologist. Um, the difference between psychiatrist and psychologist is psychologist has a PhD with no medical degree. They can't prescribe medications. Psychiatrists have a medical degree. They can prescribe medications. Um, but anyways, I think it's important that if you're a family member or a friend of somebody who believes they're being gang stalked, you need to get them in to see a psychiatrist and get on medication if that's appropriate. Um, because that kind of paranoia could go on for years and it's a waste of a person's life. So if you can talk people into getting mental health treatment, starting maybe with a referral from their general physician or their general practitioner, their family doctor, and getting them evaluated for psychiatric help. Um, in some cases, people who are paranoid become violent or suicidal, and they end up getting psychiatric evaluation by force. Sometimes the police can do it. Um, families or friends will call the police, and the police will either escort the person to a psychiatric emergency room or force them into a psychiatric emergency room. I would prefer for most people that did not happen that way. Um, I personally have never been 
forced to go to a psychiatric emergency room out of all the times in the past 40 years that I've gone to a psychiatric emergency room, I did it on my own initiative. Um, I was lucid enough to know when I needed help, when I was feeling paranoid, when I was feeling depressed, when I was feeling violent, when I was feeling suicidal. And I always ended up um, going to the emergency room on my own. Not to say I wasn't escorted by the police, because that's standard practice. If you call an ambulance for a psychiatric evaluation at an emergency room, the police are going to show up. That's true in any local police force in the United States, as I understand it. The police are part of escorting somebody to the psychiatric emergency room. Um, or at the very least, they show up to evaluate the situation and then let the ambulance take the person to an emergency psychiatric department. But if you have family, if your family or friends are somebody who claims to be a targeted individual and to be in gang stuff, you really need to talk them into seeking help and trying to reason with them as much as possible. It's not always possible. People who are paranoid are not going to admit that there's anything wrong with them. It's easier in some ways to believe that you're being harassed and stalked by the government than it is to go through the lengthy process of getting a psychiatric evaluation and being put on medication possibly for the rest of your life with side effects. Um, those are two hard choices to make. Do I believe in my paranoid fantasies, however uncomfortable and inconvenient they are, or do I take psychiatric drugs which have their own side effects? Um, I personally chose to take psychiatric medications and I said it before and I'll say it again, when I thought I was a targeted in individual and I thought people were following me, all the people that were supposedly following me magically disappeared when I started on my psychiatric medications again. So um, I just wanted to touch on that subject again and subscribe, like, share, comment.